Classic school room, yep. Classic school room. Yeah, there we go. Wow, high tech BTS. <laughs> God damn. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, this is my book on BTS. This is my book on PC. Malakas ba yung music? Okay, medyo malakas yung music. There you go. Ah. Well, let's hope this thing works. Let's hope BTS works. Okay. Sakto lang. Well, ang tanong ko dito pag nagpalit tayo ng ano ng layout. <laughs> so let's let's try changing layout. Wing. Wow. Okay. So the comments are still working. Hello. <laughs> Kamot ulo. Oh boy. The Pixel Show? Bakit The Pixel Show? Bakit gano'n yung, yung ano natin? Current song natin? Ba't balik, balik, baluktot? Prismo Stronger Raiko rin. Yung ba yung pangalan ng mm. song na yun? Whatever. Wala na akong pakilang. Hello! Yes, alam ko. Maliit lang yung webcam. <laughs> I mean, yung webcam lang nung Alienware ito. That Alienware. Right there. Uh, Nag-order na ako sa Lazada ng isa pang C270. Um, para sa BTS sa Pampanga. Um, it's not ideal kasi uh, ang PC natin dito is, a, uh, is my laptop, the Alienware. So, I show you. There we go. I show you. Um, tsaka naka wifi pa lang ako dito. So, naka NVENC tayo ngayon. NVENC encoding. From big to small. Naka NVENC encoding tayo ngayon. So, gumagamit siya na ah, 1050Ti ko. <clears throat> to encode the, uh, the video. Buti na lang hindi tayo masyado maselan sa so, BTS hindi naman masyado maselan yung quality and whatnot there. So, pwede na. Pero kung kung gaming ito or kung serious quality level, important or quality importance, hindi pwede ito. NVENC. NVENC is still not, ano. Yeah, RAM use. Yep. Yep. Karamihan yan yung Chrome. <laughs> Karamihan ang kain yan, Chrome. And then here's our CPU utilization. The... What's it called? The in, the X-Split is using about 13% of CPU. 
and then it uses about about eight to nine percent of GPU. So shalang, shalang ingo magamit ng GPU ko right now. Eight to nine percent. That's basically the NVENC encoding. See? Kaya pa pa no? With a little bit of tweaking, the hindi ko gusto parang. I mean, with a little bit of tweaking, that is not optimal for high quality streaming. Uh, we can still stream BTS, but uh, maandar ba kalanga? Yung yung monitor talaga ng stream. Yung monitor talaga ng Facebook stream yung pinaka nagkakasal sa buong sa buong buhay ko. It's the most annoying thing. Uh, hindi siya live. Hindi, hindi ko nakikita yung live. Ay, pakita ko sa inyo. This is what I see. Yan. This is what I see when I'm streaming to Facebook. It's not... Tignan, this is not what... This has been, what, 30 minutes ago? 10 minutes ago? Kung ano yung view? Uh, what I was streaming about 10 minutes ago. I can't see kung ano yung stream sa Facebook, basically. But I can And then yung comments is another... Another uh, problem altogether. Nelson Palakal, what's up? You gotta do what you gotta do. Facebook is... Facebook hates streaming technologies. I don't know. Whatever. Eh, ito yung ano, ito yung request ni ano, ni Kuya Kuya D-Max, request B15 Pro. Ay, nako. Ha? Akala ko accept lang yun. Akala ko cookies button. Oh, no, I'm back, you mother fuck. <laughs> what the f? I'm wasted. Anong classic website yun? Sige nga. Oh, si sige nga. Sige nga. Yeah, I know yung colors. Yeah. Hindi, ang hirap kasi mag-isip ng kulay sa ano eh. Doon sa comment box. Mayroon mag-isip. Gusto nyo pwede natin gawing uh, Oh, ganda. Light yellow. Oh, pwede yellow, ano? Itim? Pwede rin itim, ano? S something dark. Ah. Uh. Hindi ako ano, hindi ako kasi ano ako eh. I'm the an I'm the antithesis of uh of, of web design. I hate freaking designing crap. Eh ako mamili ng kulay kung anong pula. Sa <clears throat> mga YouTube pula. I don't know. Blue? Dark blue? Blue na kanina eh. Light blue kanina eh. Dark blue. Yan. Pwede na rin siguro dark blue. Ang problema niyan, pag itim naman yung pinitinitignan natin, oh, nahirap naman. <laughs> ah, wala talaga. Wala talaga ang pagkasa. Kailangan mag-layout na tayo. Ayaw ko. Ayaw ko. <coughs> Busy talaga. Mahirap ang buhay. At least nakapag-stream na tayo yan sa ano. At least nakapag-stream na tayo sa ano. Sa pampangan ng hindi lag masyado. I don't know. Babaguhin ko na naman to pagdating ko sa Manila. Kasi syempre babaguhin ko siya. Ngayon naka 30 FPS tayo. Dating ko sa Manila, gagawin ko siyang 60 FPS. Lilipat ko naman sa P sa ano sa um <coughs> sorry. 
Ibabalik ko naman siya sa X264 encoding. Twenty nineteen layout. <laughs> Ewan ko, hindi ako magaling mag layout. Napakabulo ko mag layout. Uh, kung kung sinabi kung sinabi mong kung sinabi sa akin na yung trabaho ko gumawa ng layout para sa uh, ano napaka simpleng website or something matat. Kahit libre pa yun, tatanggalin nila ako sa trabaho. Ano ba yan? Napakapangit ng leo. I hate designing. I'm very, you know... <coughs> I'm a very, uh... Hindi naman minimalist, eh. Wala, I, I don't have any... Yung, ano yun, tawag nila? Right brain, left brain ba yun? Pag left, right-handed ka, left brain, di ba? And I'm I'm very much a non-creative person, an uncreative person. I like, um, parang wala talaga ako ano yung creative as ano yung parang ano yung gusto kong kulay, ano yung gusto kong whatever. Tamo, oh, ang here nalilang. Alam ko ba ano ay isin yun? Datang galing ko yung icons. Point <laughs> fixed, fixed. Pero yung ano yung webcam talaga bibili na ako para mayon tay webcam. <coughs> As you can see, monitor yan. Oh, nabunot na naman yung monitor. Oh boy. Sumabog na. Sumabog na ang strip. Explosion! Don't do that again. Okay. Okay, gumagana pa na siya. Ay, nako. Welcome to BTS. Where technical difficulties are 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 uh, are a um, is a uh, is a facet of life. Um, one of these days, mga mission tayo ko kwa tayo ng music ko kwa tayo ng intro. <coughs> Man saman talaga nito tayo. Weesh! Alam nyo, dapat sa sobrang buisit ng marketing crap ng Pilipinas about smart, smart smartphones, galit ako sa sarili ko kung bakit kilala ko itong babae na to. Nandyan sa, ano, nandyan sa uh, picture ng galaxy whatever yan. Nandyan sa screen nyo. Alam nyo yun? Bakit ko kilala? I don't give a crap kung sino yung babaeng yan. Kailangan natin ng full screen na mukha ko, no? Nawa tayong full screen na mukha ko. Duplicate scene. Okay. Nawa tayong full screen na mukha ko. I hate myself for knowing that person's name. Full screen. Hindi siya, hindi siya 16 by 9. Oh, okay, sige. Ganito na lang. Oh my God. Ah, okay. Ah, yung post ba ni Jam sa ano? Sa fold-fold niya? Mark Vincent Arasa. Yeah, si Liza Soberano. So, I hate myself for knowing that person's name. Because I don't give a crap. I sh You shouldn't give a crap. People shouldn't give a crap. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay. In my personal opinion, para sa akin, wala akong pakiram. Ako, ang, ang utak ko, I only want to feel with practical information uh, about uh, particularly about technology no hindi ko kailangan ng pangalan like Liza Soberano in my head because i don't care 
I shouldn't care. But because of the stupid marketing campaign around this person and, and ano, yung kanyang muka, at yung pinapag, ano niya, yung pinapa, in a, in a advertise niya, kilala ko talaga siya. Siya si Liza Soberano. <coughs> mm, I don't know if it's a failing in my, on my, on my end, no? Um, hindi ko alam kung ako yung may kasalanan kung bakit alam ko yung pangalan niya. Kasi that means, nag pa ko, last lapse of judgment on my part na nalaman ko yung pangalan niya for some reason. Or, masyadong ganun ka-effective yung marketing. Right? What's up, Antonio Arenas? Welcome to the show! Let's start. Let's use, let's use this as our show starter. Welcome to the show. I'm Alex from TechnoClass.com. Peace. Today you're watching the big time show. Saturday, March 16th, 2019. And this week, this past two weeks, marami tayong mga mahiwagang smartphones, mid-range smartphones na nilabas um, by Samsung. And actually, uh, a lot, all of our topics this week is mid-range smartphones. Um, Bukot na lang doon sa V, ano, V15 Pro na nire-request ni Kuya Antonio Arenas. No? Um, hindi pa naman nilalabas dito yung V15 Pro. Tapos pag nilabas yung V15 Pro, pag-uusapan na naman natin. Hindi ko alam. I... I... Let's let's get right. Teka lang, i-rewind ko lang ito. This is BTS full full cam. Full cam. Yeah. <coughs> And then dito yung whoosh. Hala! Such high-tech st- streams, ha? Huh? Mark Arasa, what's up? Internals, what do you mean internals? <laughs> Infernals, in fairness. <coughs> um, si Kuya Norms is nasa no, ay, Pixel Master I don't know kung nandiyan pa siya ngayon and um, sino pa nandiyan Ronnie JT nyo good evening so welcome to the show pag-usapan natin is apparently V15 Pro uh, <coughs> eto ah pignan nyo lang mabuti yung website nila <coughs> Kasi alam mo yun, nakakaasar din yung website nila. Hindi pa din makadecide ano mid-range ang the best na bilhin ngayon. Haha, <laughs> ang sahod. I know, ubus na yun lang. Sad life. Um, antay ka pa ng konti, I think. But, uh, I mean, as long as may telepono ka pa, gumagana pa yung telepono mo. Eh. Nakapag-selfie ka pa, eh. then why not? Diba? I'll just keep it for now. Um, but nasa sa iyo yun, no? Kung... kung Alam, alam ko naman, mahirap mag-resist ngayon makabili ng telepono. Thankfully, ako nakaka-resist pa. Um, tignan nyo naman yung website na to. <coughs> Bakit? Bakit pag kinlik mo yung red and agree to the data privacy policy? Okay? Di data, ayan, pinunt- pinunta ka sa de- video privacy, vivo privacy policy. Bakit pag binak mo yung web browser mo, <laughs> dito ka pa rin napupunta. Ha? What? Sino nag-design nito? Back. 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 Back, back. Ano? Ano yun? <coughs> Kakatapos lang kanina may Zentok Gaming kanina. Yo? Zentok Gaming? Wow. Uh, Player X2. Ano ba meron sa Vivo B15? Hindi pa pa tapos na yung buhay na yun. <coughs> Si Kuya D-Max yung nag-request ito. Nasaan si D-Max? Ha? Nanonood ba? Joke time lang eh. Kuya D-Max. Long press back. Shop. Sa, ito. In India na lang. Asa? Website ba ni Vivo ito? 32 megapixel. Pop-up selfie. Go pop. Ah, ito. Ito pala. Meron siyang ano. Video. Vivo India. Wait lang. Sa heads. 
Grabe yung headphones. <coughs> B-Boy B-15. Nagulat ako, sabi ko. Ano ba yan? Bakit nag-a-under yung speakers ko yung pala nandiyan sa headset ko? Galing talaga ng headset ko eh. Wow. Haba ng hair. Wow, dubs, dubber step. World's first 32 megapixel pop-up selfie camera, Vivo V15 Pro. Man. Okay, uh, naiintindi ako ng konti kasi eh, <coughs> para, sorry. Naiintindi ako ng konti para mawala yung notch, no? Um, but damn, dude. Magkano yung dating nito? R28990. Oh, so, Indian rupee, 20, mas mahal to. <coughs> 32. 22,000 pesos, not bad. <coughs> ano ba yung specs? Hindi ko pa... Ewan ko. I mean, that's not bad. Nasa, nasa ano na lang, nasa... Amir Khan. Kulang ng coding. Oh, kulang ng coding. Tama ka, Jay. Uh, ito. Specs ni Vivo V15. Let's see. Uh, 6.39 inch 1080p Full HD+. Plus. May 48 megapixel main camera. Wow, high tech. 8 gig RAM, totoo ba yan? Snapdragon 6275. Ah, okay. Nabasa ko na to. <clears throat> Fun Touch UI. Kung, kung, kung sa 22,000 pesos, umabot ito sa 8 gigs of RAM, magaling. Pero kung 6 gigs, eh, okay lang. Uh, so, ang uh, kanyang selfie camera is 32 megapixel. Wow! High tech. Uh, 48 megapixel yung main camera with isang ultra wide and then a 5 megapixel depth sensor. 3700 milliamp hours. Magkano sa tingin nyo uh, ang, ang phone na to? Ano opinion nyo, Alex, sa pop-up camera sa phones? Um, okay lang. Kung may pera ka, I think medyo interesting yung pop-up camera. <coughs> Pero para sa akin, hindi ako interesado sa ano eh. Sa, alam nyo naman ako eh. Medyo practical yung gusto ko eh. Gusto ko kahit may bezel, okay lang sa akin. Um, but kung may pera ka, why not? Uh, ako, interested ako lagi sa... Ano yun? Um... Mi Mix 3. Um, hindi ko lang alam kung... Eh, 30 mil kasi Mi Mix 3 eh. <coughs> Wow. Lemo pa rin ako. Um, under display fingerprint. Yeah. Sorry. Ano? Um, nasa, nasa forma mo na lang ito eh. Maporma kasi masyado yung mga ganito eh. Para sa akin. Still questionable ang motor. Of course. Of course. Ah... Uh, that's why gusto ko yung Mi Mix 3 because wala motor si Mi Mix 3. It's a slider. But then again, si slider meron ding possible uh, failure point, di ba? Pag slider. Um, as, as much as possible, I don't like any moving parts. I know you don't like any moving parts as well. But, kung may pera ka, why not? Kung nasira siya in one and a half years, eh di bumili ka ng bago. At the thing is, kasi kung may pera ka, bibilin mo yun. Kung gusto mong forma, poporma ka eh. Bibilin mo yun eh. But, Para sa akin, hindi importante yung forma. So, ganun. Qu questionable sa akin. <coughs> may, mga, may mga consumers talaga na naghahanap talaga na forma. And hindi ko, na, hindi, ko na, hindi ko lalaitin yung tao. Kung mahilig sila sa forma. Kung mahilig talaga sila sa forma, why not? Huh? <coughs> Yan, yeah, nakita mo naman yung advertising nila. Ang advertising nila is maporma siya because pinapansin ka. Papansinin ka ng tao because of the pop-up pop camera. <coughs> Shani, Shani, what's up? First, 
32 megapixel pop up selfie camera grabe naman talaga um kung 25k ang usapan Vivo V15 Pro o Poco Phone F1 8GB RAM 256GB kaso gray market yung Poco 256GB variant I mean why would you need <laughs> why would you need so much of that diba oh is it still micro USB <coughs> USB 2.0 I mean ako kasama ako sa mga tao na mahilig ng mag USB C no Um, but naiintindi ako minsan talagang may maraming yung mga brands they just have a lot of micro USB ports sa ano nila sa inventory nila sa factories nila so ayaw pa nilang bitawan minsan yung USB micro <coughs> ang sagot dyan is mag wireless charging wireless charging um, ako my, myself ako nag-a-adapt na, nag, nag-shift ako to wireless charging right now so if you wanna see there I have a wireless charger over here. Grabe, 50 million views with Vivo V15 Pro. Wow. Ayan yung aking... Para sa kotse ito eh. <coughs> Bibili pa ako ng para sa bahay. But this is my wireless charger for my... For my car. For a car. Not not, not my car. <laughs> Nahihigamit lang ako. Um, and then... Ito yung aking HTC 10. Yan. Uh, and then, kinabitan ko siya ng Baseus na wireless charging receiver. Tapos, gagano mo lang siya dun sa ano. Yan, nag-charge na siya. <laughs> it's not, um, <clears throat> it's not, uh, what's it called? It's not efficient charging, but it's very convenient. Especially for me. Ako kasi medyo madalas ako parang, sometimes may mag-message, sometimes may check lang ako, sometimes huwag yung YouTube ako sa tali. And then, ibabalik ko siya sa charger. So, very convenient na lagi. Kung kailangan ko siyang i-charge, hindi na ako nag, nagtatanggal kabit ng kable sa baba. Um, there are other ways to do this, like yung mga magnetic cable chargers, na pwede mo lang tanggalin yung kable, tapos may magnetic lang siyang adapter sa, sa, ano, sa mismong baba. Um, <clears throat> meron akong magnetic cable dati, na wala ko yung dulo, na kumakabit sa phone. So, nawalan siya ng kwenta kasi wala na akong pagkakabitan yung kapit. Which is, ano lang. Uh, ang maganda dito, it's very convenient sa kotse. Kasi sa kotse, it's very annoying when you get on the car, get in the car, and then, for example, ito type mo yung destination mo sa Waze or something. And then, sa mo siya lalagay? Ito, maganda. So, convenient lang. Iragano mo lang siya. And then, mag-charge na siya. Hindi ka tulad sa ibang... Um, what's it called? Sa ibang phone mount sa kotse, diba? ilalagay mo siya sa phone mount and then sasaksakan mo pa siya ng USB. <coughs> Ma- malaflossy Carter ka. NFC hindi ako masyadong gumagamit kasi konti pala ng Philippines. But, uh, yeah. Ma- mahilig ako sa wireless charging especially kung ganito lang. Um, le- uh, medyo kailangan on the go, on the go ka minsan. So parang pag, pag pagdating mo sa parking o pagka-park mo pa lang, bunot lang ng cellphone sa 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 hanger niya. Diretso ka na. Hindi ka na kailangan, hindi mo na kailangan. Okay, uh, bubunutin ko sa sa ano, sa kable. Yung kable itatago mo pa yung kable sa kotse. And then, yun, nadali mo na to. So, medyo convenient lang. <clears throat> hindi siya efficient in terms of charging speed, no? Kasi mabagal lang wireless charging. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It's uh, I, I like the convenience, no? Um, kasi you just put it on something and it charges. It. Alam ko magastos sa kuryente yun. Mas magastos na ko. But mm, just but a little bit. I also bought. Actually, gusto ko ng gumawa ng video feature about wireless stuff. Eh. Uh, this is a wireless charger power bank from the same brand. This is a base use. <coughs> so. Ayan siya. Pag dinikit ko sa likod ng phone ko, magsa-charge yung phone ko. Ayan. There you go. See? So, pag nasa, pag may inaantay ako, for example, pwede kong ilabas lang yung power bank, patong ko sa table, habang kumakain, nagkakape, nagsa-tsa, and then, papatong ko lang siya, magsa-charge siya. So, this I don't think is super convenient kasi medyo ilalabas mo pa rin yung power bank. 
But yeah, it, it eliminates the need for you know, pupasok, titignan mo yung bag mo, oh, nasa na yung cable ko, nasa na yung cable ko. Sasaksak mo dito, sasaksak mo dito. And then, minsan, bad trip kasi darating yung inaantay mo, nandyan na. So, babubunutin mo rin yung cable mo. At least dito, hindi mo na kailangan bunutin yung cable. <coughs> anyway, anyway. That's, uh, that aside, anong pinag-usapan natin, USB-C, no? Ganda gabi mga koya, this is Samsung Show Series. Adrian, koya, Dmax. So, we were talking about the Vivo V15 Pro and uh, we don't know kung magkano yung kakaratikan yung price. <clears throat> I wanna say 25k. <laughs> that's, that's my guess, 25k. Pero baka umabot ng like 27k or something. This is Vivo as a brand we're talking about. So, there's a possibility na tumaas yung Yung sometimes they ask for a little bit more than their converted price from India, no? So this is interesting. Uh, this is a very maporma phone because of the pop-up 32 megapixel camera. I don't know if I'm if I need a maporma phone, um, but you know, if you have like 25, 20, 30,000 pesos, why not, no? <coughs> Snapdragon. 675 is a little bit low for the 30,000 to 25,000 peso price point because uh, we all know mga kapiligan na ng Snapdragon 800, 845 at least um, for 25,000, 30,000. No? But you know, alam ko naman some people prefer yung choice of being maporma kesa being you know high performance, malaki baterya or something like that. What's up, Farmer Sanchez? <clears throat> Kasi mula pa lang natin, we've only been 18 minutes. So, so yun lang. Um, that's, uh, that's a choice you have to make when you're buying these phones. Um, according to the the, the internets, mga Philippine blogosphere, uh, maglalunch ito this week on the 19th or the 20th. Actually, hindi, kung hindi nyo alam, ang daming mag maglalunch this ano. <coughs> Sorry, ma maubo pa rin ako. Um, and dami mga launch this week. Like, meron Realme 3 mga launch this week. If I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Realme 3. No? Um, there's a the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. Ang pinaka inaantay nyo na Redmi Note 7 is mga launch sa Pilipinas this week, this coming week. No? Um, <coughs> ano pa ba? Bukod dun, ano eh? Ano pa ba yung mga invite ko? Uh, Nvidia. Pero hindi ata, ano yun, hindi ba, nothing new. By the way, may bagong in graphics card si NVIDIA, quote-unquote, bagong graphics card, the NVIDIA 1660. Mura siya, ah, nasa 12 plus thousand yung pinakamurang NVIDIA 1660, 90 Ti. Mas mahal yung Ti. Um, not bad for uh, mid-range graphics card, 12, 13,000. Pwede na, naghahanap ka ng graphics card. Marami siyang tinatapakan na graphics card uh, sa ganito sa price na yun sa 12,000 <coughs> Nokia 7 Plus 11,990 yes may nagtanong na sa akin yan uh, last week um, sabi ko yeah if you're interested go buy it uh, it's not the top most like <coughs> it's one of the better phones for 12,000 pero technically it's about one and a half years old two years old na so medyo naluluman na rin si Nokia 7 Plus pero it's not bad. Uh, it's one of those medyo hindi pa ganun ka high-end yung camera ni, ni Nokia nung 7 Plus eh. Um, but it's 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 getting there. It's getting better naman. So, <coughs> for 12,000, I can't complain. If you're in the market for a Nokia phone, the Nokia 7 Plus is not bad. But, keep in mind, sa 12,000 pesos, maraming kalaban. Maraming kalaban. Like, maraming kalaban na mas ma benta sa mainstream market. Nandiyan yung mga Nova 3i, nandiyan yung mga uh, Zenfone Max M2, nandiyan yung uh, Avivo, ang dami. So, may hirap pumasok. May hirap pumasok si Nokia at that price point. Siyempre, since hindi ganun ka, lakas yung marketing ni Nokia sa Pilipinas. No? Expected official price ng Redmi Note 7 dito. Yan ang mahirap. Um, Mark Davis Baltasar. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say may alam ako. Wala akong alam. Wala akong alam dyan. 
ang hula ko is gonna be 10, 10 to, to 11,000 for the most affordable variant. I know, marami magre-reklamo because dapat, mas mura siya. Dapat, nasa 8,000 pesos siya. Dapat na nga lang, nasa 7,000 pesos siya. But, <clears throat> I haven't seen any reason, uh, I haven't seen any, how do you say this? I haven't seen any uh, uh, evidence, evidence, no? For the Redmi Note 7 to be less than 10,000. I haven't seen that. I've seen a lot of evidence, uh, especially in gray market. Nasa 10,000 plus. So, mababa yung, mababa yung uh, expectation ko for it to hit price point na less than 10,000. Ako, kung mababa na yung 8,990. Sa tingin ko para sa ano, 9,000 pesos, mababa na yun para sa akin. I think, um, I'm hoping for the best. Uh, the launch is this week. So, we'll see, we'll see. <coughs> Pro version pa rin ako ng Note 7. Um, so, that's the Vivo V15 Pro. Let's move on. Um, uh, let's get on to our first Samsung product uh, na ni launch di- last week. Last week ito. The, v- uh, the Samsung Galaxy uh, M- M20. M20. Um, dali lang. Maraming back, back. <laughs> Asa niyan? M20. M20. Wala ba dito 'yun? Oh my god. M20. Minsan wala, minsan wala sa mobile person. <clears throat> wala. Okay, dito na lang tayo. Okay, you get it. <clears throat> now this is what Malit ba ba sa the webcam ko? Parang nalilitan tuloy ako. Yeah, pwede na yan. Wow, I think this is the first time I saw that transition animation. High-tech tayo, high-tech. <laughs> na ano ka, ano? Na, na, na impressions ka sa ating, uh, ano, <laughs> transition animation. Ano lang yan, uh, built-in sa XP. Pero, um, in-implement ko lang siya, nilagay ko lang siya pag nagpapalit tayo ng, um, ng scene. Uh, ma- matrabaho yung, actually, marami tayong there's a lot of work that I, I've put into just getting this this stream to work on this laptop. <coughs> but anyway, um, so the uh, Gal- Samsung Galaxy M20 launched about a week and a half ago, um, and this is their surprisingly 10,000 peso competitor, ni Samsung. Um, very, very, very rare for Samsung to launch a phone that is not. Is actually competitive for the price point. Um, so this is Galaxy M20. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand the naming scheme, though. M20, A30, A50. I have no understand. Because okay, if you if you remember last year, it was the A7, it was the A5, and then I believe they phased out the the low end A3s. No, but now it's the M20, the a30 and the A50. Baka nilagyan lang ng na zero. I have no I, I don't understand. But <clears throat> I'm not if I'm not mistaken this is like the second notched phone ni Samsung at the mid range. Uh, it's powered by Exynos 7904 and keep Ito kasi the, you know you know Samsung is is relatively serious about the price point about the competition. When they're launching a full HD plus display at uh, at the 10,000 11,000 peso price point. Yan siya. This one. Because you know knowing Samsung, they would launch their uh uh tandaan niyo yung A7, A5 A5 A7 2018 byon, 2017. It was 720p. But this is full HD+. Uh, Exynos 7904, kailangan natin 
medyo kalikutin. Tingnan natin. Uh, but it is a 1.8 GHz octa-core. Uh, Mali G71. I don't even... Hindi ko na binabantayan ko ano yung Mali-Mali. 3 gigs RAM, 32 gigs of storage. So our cameras here is hindi masyadong impressive. This is like... <coughs> Ano, sa mo makukompare tong 13 plus 8? 13 megapixel plus 5 megapixel wide. Ano? Okay, so it has a re regular camera of 13, 5 megapixel wide. So this is like what? Zenfone Max? Mga ganon yung, yung cameras? Kasi 8 megapixel front with the wide angle. 13 megapixel <coughs> regular. Dual SIM. Oh, may headphone jack. Fingerprint scanner. Face and lock. Um, and then, ah, uh, so it's not Android 9 yet. 5,000. So, as you can see, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And it's 10, 990. So, 11,000 pesos. That's actually quite competitive, no? <clears throat> Gabby Marquez says, I'm still rocking the Zenfone 4 Max. There you go. Um, meron siyang, and this is not online only uh, from here. <laughs> Hindi ako naka-attend kasi nasa Pampanga ako nito. Actually, both of the Samsung mid-range launches. Hindi ako naka-attend nasa Pampanga ako. I've been helping uh, with the family business, unfortunately. Um, or family matters na lang. Family matters na lang. There you go. Um, and I've, I've, been needed, I've been needed here. So, hindi ako masyado nakaka-attend ng events. Hopefully, this week with the Redmi Note 7... And the uh, Realme 3 launch, I will be there, hopefully. Um, barring any any crazy things that I need to do. Hopefully, I'll be there. <coughs> Problem ko lang, medyo sinisipon pa rin ako. Um, let's see. Ang, ang pinaka-question mark na lang dito is the Exynos 7904. Uh, benchmark. Benchmark. Tech Centurion. What the heck of a name is that? Tech Centurion. Um, what? Ano to? Centurion Mark. Antutu score. Okay. Antutu score is 108712. Yeah. Mababa, baba. Mababa, baba. Um, pero pasado na yan. 100k na rin yan. Um, Magkano 845? Like 300? Ah, wait, no. that 300K is uh, what? Ma uh, Mate Pro? Mate 20 Pro? Uh, and then typically 835A is like 200K? Uh, 100. Siguro, al alam nyo naman nilalaro nyo. Nalong naman yun. Mobile Legends lang. Tsaka ano? <coughs> uh, the score is slightly lower than that of a Snapdragon 636. So, mid-range nga. Not bad though, pero mid-range. <laughs> Parang cartoons. Oh nga eh, Tech Centurion. Pucha. Medyo medieval si Kuya, Tech Centurion. Tech Centurion. So, yan. So, that's the Galaxy M20. 11,000 pesos. You know, uh, you could, Samsung could do a lot worse, no? Um, you could do a lot worse, even on a different brand. So, Samsung, this is, this is one of the more competitive options from Samsung. Uh, and it does have the the notch screen, you no know, the 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 do drop notch. It is HD plus. Uh, tignan natin kung ano siya AMOLED. <coughs> Galaxy M20. It is PLS TFT. So unfortunately, hindi siya AMOLED. But keep in mind the 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 newer, uh, the the other models, the A30 and the A50 are AMOLED. So let's move on to the new, the other phones which are also competitive. They're like 15, 17,000. And they're AMOLED and they have 16 megapixel cameras. And the highest end model is 25 megapixel cameras. So let's talk about the... Yeah. So A30 and then A50. There you go. Uh, Paul Genesis says, still satisfied with my A Mi A1. There you go. Kahit Snapdragon 625. Yeah, so, like I said before, when I, when, nung sumampat ay sa Snapdragon 625, 
I keep saying to people that um, 625 is ano ba, uh, a, a great platform and a great like minimum kasi malaki siyang malaki tinalon eh from Snapdragon 615 for example napakabulok ng Snapdragon 615 but pag sampan natin sa 625 ang galing niya for gaming ang ganda na nung heat management niya mababa lang yung heat niya um, and the battery life is excellent no I don't think if you think about it no the jump ng battery life ng 625 was huge from 615 but the jump natin from like kahit 636 gamitin mo, kahit any of the modern Snapdragons, hindi pa rin malaka, malayo yung talon from a 625. So parang <coughs> umabot na tayo sa battery life na ganito kataas. Yung inaangat lang ng mga higher-end models, mga konti na lang, mga konting, konting bubwit na lang na talon na ganun. So, honestly, the 625 will, will, set you, will still perform very, very well for you. Even in 2019. Ayan, nama. Three years na si Snapdragon 625. Yes, it will still do you really, really well. No? So, this is the Samsung Galaxy A30. If I'm not mistaken, this is 14,000 pesos. No? 14,000 pesos. 13,990. And it has a Super AMOLED display. 6.4 inch. Medyo malaki yun. 6.4 inch is relatively large. Um, kasi gen generally, yung mga phones that have uh, the notch or the dewdrop, nasa 6.26. 6.4 is relatively large. I know may mga mas malalaki pa dyan, But 6.4 is still so, uh, decently large. no? <coughs> and then, so, um, tingnan nga natin yung press release na. Tech specs. So, we have a infinity display. Mina siya, hindi na important na infinity niya. Uh, 3D glass stick. Man. So the camera, 16 megapixel front, 16 megapixel rear. Uh, and we have a 5 megapixel depth sensor at ato. 4,000 milliamp hour battery. This is 14,000 pesos. Fingerprint, fast charging, Samsung Pay, Bixby Home, Bixby Reminder, whatever. Actually, nandito lang ako because may video ba tayo? Wala. Images lang. So, very bland yung website nila for this. <laughs> for this phone. It has a fingerprint scanner sa likod. The dual camera sa likod. As you can see, it's a nice looking phone. It's not a bad looking phone. Super AMOLED display for 14,000 pesos. 1080p Super AMOLED. Um, with a 16 megapixel front and then 16 main, no? Carlo Azores, what's up? Medyo malakas si Snapdragon 625 in 2019. Yes, indeed. Um, so, wala ba website nito? Ay, wala ba tayong YouTube nito? A A30. Para makita nyo naman in action. Samsung A30. Uh, C4E, wala ko lang bago. Geeky Ranj. Konti nga lang difference ng 632 kung sa real world. Yes, indeed. indeed. So, there you go. <clears throat> Tignan natin yung kanilang. Hindi yung press. A30. No? Do they have a Samsung website? Ay, mahirap dito eh. Eon, Samsung India. No, no, tayo sa Samsung India. <coughs> Ready action. The coolest new action phones. So, we have 16 megapixel main camera. Oh, ultra wide. So, tama at. Tama ba ako? Tama. No, mali ata, sabi ko kanina. <laughs> ultra wide view. Super AMOLED display. Infinity display. 4,000 mAh battery, fast charging with USB Type-C, walang wireless charging. Um, 3D prism design, rear fingerprint sensor, ready action fly. So, Exynos 7904. Pareho ba ito ng... Ano ba yung binasa natin kanina? Yeah, so this is the same as the M20 processor. Mabalik na naman tayo kay Tech Centurion. 
So, until to score of about 100k, 108,000. For 14, eh, medyo mababa. But, ay kasi okay, kalaban nito is, ano eh, pwede mo nang ilaban to sa honor play na hindi masyado sumikat. Or, medyo mal, okay, kung umabot ka sa sale, kalaban nito, poco phone, right? But, hindi naman yun yung habol mo minsan sa telepono eh. Minsan, super AMOLED yung habol mo sa telepono, for example. Or, the phone looks nice. Diba? Does the phone look nice? The Samsung branding looks nice. 16 megapixel main and then what, what not? 4 gigs of RAM, 4,000 milliampere. But it's not bad. I ain't gonna complain, no? This is surprising from a brand that was Samsung that used to be very, very hard. Uh, used to price their phones incredibly expensive, ano? Tandaan nyo, even last year, no, with their A7 2018, which had the yung triple camera sa likod, which is main camera, depth sensor, and wide angle, that was 18,000 pesos, 17,990, no? Um, and if I'm not mistaken, that's a 720p ata in display. I might be wrong. It was not the best phone for 18,000 at the time. Pero pagbibigyan natin because of its Samsung branding. But this, this is a good phone. Regardless kung Samsung siya o hindi. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a bonus that it's a Samsung. No? So that's that's props to Samsung for getting something 14,000 for this. No? I, I do commend them. I know maraming kalaban pa rin ito. I know you can get a Mi 8 Lite or something. No? And then I'm sure lalaban dyan yun, Redmi Note 7 and whatnot. But I, this is this is Samsung being competitive in the mid range, finally. So let's check out the A50 uh, at the same time. So the A50 is just a bigger, <coughs> leaner, meaner version. This is 18,000 pesos if I'm not mistaken. 17,990, six gig plus 128. So the A30 was four gig 64. Not bad. Uh, and then this is 6 gig 128. I don't know kung tama to, but uh, generally tama naman yung source. Okay, Galaxy A50. Triple camera, so meron na siyang ultra wide. Bukod sa... Wait, what? What was the last one? Ultra wide or... Ultra wide. Okay. So, walang depth sensor ito. It's just ultra wide. <clears throat> Maganda ba sir, gal processor ni Galaxy M30? You mean A30? <laughs> Galaxy A30. Nalilito din ako. Don't worry. <laughs> so, the processor ni Galaxy M30 is the Exynos 7904, which is Antuto score mga 108,000. Eh, mas mababa ng konti. Actually, mga Snapdragon 625 level ba to? If I'm not mistaken. Um, okay na rin. Alam nyo naman, di, di ganun, you're not gonna get the top-end performance when you buy yung mga mid-range ni Samsung. Admittedly. Um, but it's not bad. For one, the 100,000, and Tutu is not bad. <coughs> yung Galaxy A6 Plus, nga, sa Dragon 400 lang, umabot pa ng 24K. I know, right? So, A50. Balik tayo kay A50. <coughs> If you, if you if you're really pushing for specs this is not the best phones because of the processor no but as of Samsung phone the mid range this is not bad this is very good for it uh 240 fps low mode that's surprisingly good actually super amoled got to give them props for that uh on screen fingerprint oh so 18000 pesos gets you on-screen fingerprint scanner. Wow. Fast charging USB Type-C, 4,000 mAh. So this is higher end Exynos. Now. This, if for the 18,000 peso price point, you get a 90, uh, Exynos 9610. Uh, Exynos 9610 benchmark. Uh, let's see. Benchmark reveals. 
Antutu. Antutu. <coughs> ah, walang Antutu eh. <laughs> Antutu, please. Eh, okay. No. Hindi, hinulaan niya lang yung Antutu score. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> ah. Uh, Antutu. Okay. Okay. According to this, hopefully may Antutu score siya. <coughs> okay. Exynos 9610 is... 146,000. Not bad. As you can see, Snapdragon 660 is 134,000. Uh, and Helio P70 is 145,000. Now, that's very interesting. Because, yung Helio P70 is gonna be uh, ano eh, very, going to be going to have a bigger role in uh, 2019 this year. Because maraming phones ang lalabas with the Helio P70. Um, I think Realme will have a Helio P70 as well. So, that's going to be interesting. Because si Oppo, alam ko, may Helio P70 na rin. As you can see, the 9610 wins over the Snapdragon 660 here. But not by much. It's only by a, <coughs> by 10,000 points. 12,000 points. Honestly, malit na bagay lang yun. But, at least we're getting more performance from the 18,000 peso price point of the Galaxy A50. Imagine kung naglabas sila ng Galaxy A70 with a higher end pa. Or uh, A90. <laughs> so we have a 6.4 inch AMOLED Infinity U display. And the cameras are 25 megapixel rear plus 8 megapixel wide plus 5 megapixel depth. And then front camera is 25 megapixels. Ando na tayo sa mga... Nasa ano na tayo sa Oppo F4, F7, F9... Whatever, 15, uh, tag dito, 4,000 milliamp hours, USB Type-C, fast charging, and then according to, apparently, Yucatec, it's uh, 6 gig plus 128 uh, for 18,000. Pre-order period from March 16 to 29, so that's today. Uh, <clears throat> wala na akong pakialam sa mga freebies na to, usually hindi ako not interest, but according to this, Samsung battery pack, JBL Go speaker, Mini tripod. Helio P60 equals Helio P70. Not much difference according to mga naunang reviews. Oh no. A90 is already rumored to be a cost-effective flag flagship with Samsung. Uh, Farmer suggests sublay, sabay, naglagay ng ads si Samsung sa mid-range. <laughs> Wag naman. Grabe na yun. Uh, so by the way, hindi ba ito yung One UI na? Yes. So if you think, if you look closely, no, but yung M20 did not have the Samsung One UI. So the M20 still uses the old UI. Tinan natin yung A30 ko. Anong UI? The One UI is nice. The One UI is much nicer than yung typical Samsung UI. So that's nice. Both of them. The A30 and the A50 had both the um, the One UI. Actually, parang, should we buy one para ma review? Should we buy one and then uh, no? give it a give it a BTS uh, testing and then event natin for BTS funds? <laughs> A90 expected price mo ako yung hindi ko alam. Tutok, may, may A90 ba para Riot yon sa Billy Farmer Sanchez. Alam nyo, uh, <laughs> may title na ako sa review ko ng Mi 8 Lite. Eh. Ano ba yun? Sabi ko sa kanya, ano yun? Nilagay kong title. Asa na yung phone ko? Nalaglag na yung phone ko. Na deads na, deads na. Nawala na sa buo mundo. <coughs> the title of my review is going to be... Eh, kailangan ko na script, pero malapit. Alam ko, matagal, na, matagal ako masyado mag-review ngayon. Mas lalo ngayon. But, uh, yun. An excellent phone with a terrible problem. Yun yung title ng Mi 8 Lite review. 
<laughs> so, sobrang daming ads. Ha? Asan ra ako sa ads ng buwis na Mi Hit Night. Ano ba yan? Tapos hindi mo matanggal yung Mi Browser. Ano ba yan? Grabber. Okay. So, that's the uh, A Samsung Galaxy A30 and the A50. And the M20. Uh, I think the M20... Kung ako lang, pipiliin ko yung A30. Um, because of the One UI. But, kung nagtitipid ka, 11,000 yung M20. Why not? Diba? <coughs> Aha. Eh, wala na tayo masyadong topic. Tapos na tayo. <laughs> Maze Note 9. Um, so, ito yung panglaban nila. Ngayon, nauuso na talaga yung 48 megapixels. Megavixels. Um, hindi ko alam eh. Ano ba ito? Okay. Ad- admittedly, ah, ano bang gusto ko sabihin? Now that nauuso yung 48 megapixels and then yung Redmi Note 7 na yan, I- unfortunately, nauna kasi yung mga, ano yung mga Chira ROM reviewers eh. Uh, Mi 8 Lite is love. Battery lang talaga reklamo ko. Nasanay ako sa 4,000. Yeah, so hindi ganun katlaki yung battery ni Mi 8 Lite. Sadly. But it is a nice phone. It is a nice phone. Uh, the build the build and design is really, really nice. No? Sure. Alam ko sinabi ko na yun noon pa. Noon, noon pa. <laughs> Tatapusin ko na talaga yung review. <laughs> Piyan nyo lang ako ng oras. Napaka-rare kung nasa Maynila ngayon. Kailangan mag-set up na ako na studio din sa Pampanga. Um, or, dapat mag-set na ako ng ano, ng, kasi sa Manila may, nakaset na yung lights ko and everything eh. Dito sa Pampanga, siguro mag-shoot ako sa ano, sa nature. <laughs> mag-shoot ako sa labas. Ewan ko, di ko alam kung anong gagawin ko pa. Kung, kung kailangan magsasubo, magsasubo, magsasubo akong gumawa ng mga reviews dito sa Pampanga. I don't know. Um, <coughs> we'll see. So, uh, <laughs> our last two topics natin is, hindi ko alam kung Meizu is uh, attempting a 48 megapixel camera of their own. The Meizu Note 9. The thing is, hindi, hindi ko alam kung narating sa Pilipinas ito because what? May, kamusta ba si Meizu sa Pilipinas? Di ba mga ano sila? They're in trouble. Di ba yung nagdala nito is medyo nahihirapan na? So, the Meizu Note 9 the features uh, what seems glossy back, blah, blah, blah. Grabe, napaka-blue. Napaka-old. Napaka-tried- Ano talaga, copied in... This design is so old by now. Huh. You've seen one... You've seen a phone in 28... Late 2018, early 2019. You've seen this design. Literally, the shiny back, the fingerprint scanner, the cameras on the upper left corner, <coughs> the dude drop match. Sad life, but it is what it is, no? Uh, we're looking at the Snapdragon 675, apparently, a 1080p Full HD Plus display, 4 or 6 gigs of RAM, very standard, and then we have the 48 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual rear, 20 megapixel front camera. Surprisingly, 20 megapixel front camera is normal these days. Hindi na ganun ka big time yung 20 megapixel ngayon. <clears throat> Samsung GM1 sensor si Meizu Note 9, not the Sony IMX586. Um, yeah, I heard of this uh, interesting, that kind of interesting sensor sensor, no? Um, I don't subscribe too much on which sensor is better. Um, I know in, in, in parang, ano ba, objective terms, one sensor would be better than the other. But sa totoo lang, sensors don't matter so much. Uh, what actually matters is the processing that the the software does. Um, pangalawa is how the sen- the lens are arranged. No? Um, admittedly, uh, typically you would normally get better photos from better sensors, but ultimately the software will be the one that does the job. Because and dami mga Cherry Mobile jan. Bakit puro IMX suman yung sensor ni Cherry Mobile pero minsan pa. Yung, yung, yung photos nila palpak because you get the you get yung pag pumunta sa China nagpa, nagpagawa ka ng phone sa mga sorry oh my god ah punta ka sa China sabi mo oh gawan mo ako ng 
Ito yung specs na gusto ko. Ito, I make something, something, something. Bibigyan niya sa'yo. Tapos, yung software, napaka-basic lang. ba? Diba? So, once the software is super basic, either sasabihin mo, okay, bibigyan kita ng extra XX amount of uh, yuan, Chinese yuan, para ayusin mo yung camera. But generally, kukopyahin niya lang yung files ng ibang manufacturer na kumuha dyan and kinostomize yung camera. Sometimes they just even use, alam nyo, pag bumili ka ng Cherry Mobile, you will notice that they use a generic camera app na nadadownload sa, sa Google App Store or yung, yung mga nasa sideload sa Google App Store. It's very familiar looking. Minsan, makikita mo, galing sa Nova Launcher na camera or something, yung mga typical launchers na gano'n. Minsan, they just use generic algorithms to process the image. Generally, when you buy those phones, for example, Cherry Mobile na, generic lang yung algorithm to process the image. That's why you get bad, bad, bad photos from IMX sensors. No? Um, so it's all about the processing. That's why Huawei is very, very popular these days. For the, the Huawei processing is very, very well made. Um, <coughs> even though, okay, they're not optically image stabilized, for example, or marami silang dinadaya, but when it comes to their software, they are very, very, yung 40 megapixel nila, hindi naman actual 40 megapixel, but the processing there is there. Samsung also has very good processing. Uh, ano lang talaga, the Huawei, I don't know what they did. They, they made big strides in to upgrade their processing. That's why a lot of people are impressed with Huawei phones these days because of the software processing. Yung night mode lang yun eh. A lot of phones already have like long exposure night mode. But the thing is, long exposure night mode is just basic. It's a basic way to take a photo in night mode. Huawei, yung, night, yung whatever or yung Google night mode, is iba pa. Google Night Mode is like, okay, maglo-long exposure tayo. Tapos, pa-process natin yan based on the preference of a lot of users. Based on the preference of many, many users. E-HDR niya, tataas niya yung, yung dilaw ng ilaw, and then nalagyan niya ng konting noise reduction on certain parts para makita mo na, oh my God, ang ganda na itong na to. But, from a, from a raw standpoint, if you're shooting raw lang, if you take that photo, very, very dull lang yung kuha na yan because you edit those lights in. You edit the noise reduction in. <coughs> but, yun yung maganda sa mga smartphones ngayon is because the editing is done na. The editing is very, very automated na that generally, if you're a professional photographer, yung edits na ginagawa mo on your professionally done DSLR photos, but not, is automatic na ginagawa ng phone. Um, of course, iba pa rin yung malaking camera, malaking sensor, no? Iba pa rin yun na process mo ng high quality, raw, no? But, in today's day and age, napakaganda na ng software processing ng pagka-program ng phones ngayon that it's very convincing. Uh, yung night mode na 4 seconds, 2 seconds. They really bring out a very, very nice night mode na pwede mo Instagram agad. And ultimately, that's what makes cam uh, phones very, very popular is when, when the cameras are always Instagrammable again. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Mark, say, Mark Arasa says, Kaya kahit Flare X2 phone ko, napapaganda pa. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Buti may Google Photos and Snapseed. Yeah, so Snapseed is similar, no? But yun, mano man yun. Uh, typically, ang... Yung mga bagong phones ngayon, like Huawei, Mate 20, whatnot, hindi mo na kailangan na Snapseed because once they take their photos, they already quote-unquote Snapseed the phone, uh, the, the, the photo, na hindi... Kasi, okay, so so Snapseed, you can go over the top, no? You can go sobrang taas ng HDR, sobrang taas ng brightness. Hindi naman gagawin yun ng, ng automated na Huawei ano, uh, processing, no? So may, may restraint naman siya, and then it looks... Quote unquote natural, but it's not actually natural. No? Um, <clears throat> HDR Plus ng Google Cam says uh, heart heart. Sabi ni Paul Genesis. Um, let's see. Ano pa mga comment dito? 
HDR Plus. Uh, sana gumawa si Cherry Mobile ng parang GPDX na ibang iba ang market ng GPD. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I know. GPDX, GPDX, Steve, if you're not familiar, it's a uh, handheld gaming machine na Android. No? Um, admittedly, there are other Android gaming machines out there. Um, yung mga, maraming luma na, but GPD really popularized it. So, GPD XD. Um, actually, if you, GPD XD Plus is actually quite affordable na 10,000. I know, <coughs> technically, this is MediaTek processor. Ano? But, ang, pin, ang binabayaran mo dito, yung, ano, yung gamepad. Eh. Yung quality ng gamepad, yung quality ng clamshell, yung quality ng design. No, bayad yan, eh, 10,000. Ako, na, na, natatempt akong bumili ng ganito. Um, if only because I need it to remote control yung mga um, mga apps kasi I use uh, Nvidia Shield ito alam ko pinata ayan buhay pa siya I use Nvidia Shield for example to remote control my uh, tag dito <coughs> my my production video camera whatever no so naka naka remote siya so para pag nagtatype ako ng Pare, B-roll ng keyboard or B-roll ng laptop. Pupuksan ko yung laptop, nandun yung camera sa likod ko. May remote, naka, naka-remote siya dito sa NVIDIA Shield ko. So, I've... Natatempt akong bumili ng isang ganito. Because gusto ko yung physical buttons niya for when remoting uh, mga cameras. ba? Kasi gusto ko, isang, pipindutin ko yung button, ah, under, yung... I like the feeling of tactile buttons when I'm remote controlling a camera, for example. Diba? Kasi, okay, shoot re video. Pick, ano, diba? Kasi, pag touch screen yan, pag pinuntot mo minsan, baka hindi pa nag-register. <clears throat> but, if it's a button, it's a button. Anyway, natitemp lang ako, it's 10,000. I think it's a good price. Um, but, of course, 10,000 is still a lot of money, you know? So, you have to, you have to think about that, ano? <coughs> White blue sets lumang IMX yung gamit nila nung iba 5 years old na IMX 586 is used sa v, v, View 20 Mi 9 while yung GM1 is Note 7 V15 Pro I see, I see Mas gusto ko yung sensor ni Mi 8 Lite in IMX na IMX 363 sabi ni White Blue though I believe software takes part in. yes, yes, of course Ako, like I said I don't follow yung mga sensor-sensor because uh, para sa akin uh, I'd rather not know the the, the sensor, pero important sa akin. As long as I take a photo and then maganda yung kuha niya, and then that's that's approved for me, no? Um, but of course, sensors matter. Para sa akin lang ini ignore ko because it could be a trap, no? <laughs> you you could be buying a phone with a very very good sensor, but you know, if the processing is bad, then wala din, no? So para sa akin. I ignore that part even though it quote unquote does matter. Mark Albius says, Sir V15 or Samsung A15? <coughs> Depending on gusto ng forma or not. Eh. Mas mo na yung A50. V15 is yung pro, I think. I don't know kung may V15 na regular. Meron nga ba? <coughs> I, I would go with the A50, but totoo lang, I'd rather buy na. Hindi ko bibili pa. Personally, hindi... Personally, baka hindi ako bumili ng kahit alin doon. Um, I mean, nandiyan yung Pocophone eh. Pocophone F1, uh, nasa, nasa 16, 17,000 na lang ngayon eh. Um, so, it's, it's, it's a tough call. No? If you just want a selfie phone... Siguro A50. Mas mura A50 ang babagsak yun. No? Um, plus it's a Samsung. Plus you get the AMOLED display. Plus the One UI. It's pretty good for me. Uh, the V15, maporma. Sobrang maporma. So, nasa personal, honestly, nasa personal preference talaga yun. Um, kasi baka mas gusto mo yung, yung, yung walang notch, di ba? <coughs> Mark Arasa says, may home credit ang Vivo at Oppo. Yun <laughs> Napaka, ano yun, napaka-importante ngayon ng home credit. Hindi ko alam na ganun ka-importante. I know, I know marami sa Pilipino interesado mag-installment, no? Um, pero, 
nagulat ako na hindi ko imagine ganun karami. No? Hindi ko ma-imagine na parang mas marami pa ang bumibili ng phones ngayon on home credit instead of downright na outright na instant cash. No? Uh, naintindihan ko, naintindihan ko, mababa talaga ang, ang earnings natin sa Pilipinas talaga. No? Hindi talaga tayo mayamang bansa. Um, nagugulat lang talaga ako na may mga tao talaga na ayaw antayin maipon yung pera. Ay, hindi nila kayang maintay na maipon yung pera for 4, 5, 6 months para mabot ng 15 million pera nila. Napaka-importante sa kanila na makabili na ng telepono ngayong buwan na to. Ngayong araw na ito, na i-home credit talaga nila. Eh, mataas yung interest ng home credit eh. <coughs> ano talaga? Uh, ano ang tag dito? Kapit sa patalim talaga yung, ano, yung mga tao ngayon eh. Wala, in- utang yan eh. Pero alam, mar- maraming takot, maraming Pilipino takot kumuha ng credit card kasi mababaon, utang ko, mababaon daw sila sa utang. Pero sa home credit, wala silang problema. Eh, utang din yun eh. Utang din yung home credit eh. <coughs> Mataas yung interest ng home credit, by the way. Super dami po talaga. Yun na. I mean, nagulat talaga ako na ganun karaming interested sa sa ganun kataas na interest na ano na tapos yung bibilin mo lang naman na phone is 13, 15,000 ano. <coughs> nakagulat, nakagulat. Uh, both sensor and software is needed talaga for the phone. Hindi, hindi. Anyway, so that's the Meizu Note 9. According to this, uh, ang converted prices is nasa 11,000 yung pinakamababa. Not bad. For a Snapdragon 675, that's not bad. <coughs> Ang tanong dyan kung darating sa Pilipinas kasi medyo hindi na malaki yung presence ni Meizu sa Pilipinas. Diba? Mark Arasa says, Ang di nila naiisip baka may bago lumabas pa na mas maganda. Exactly, no? So, there's a lot of, ano eh. Uh, ito yung sasabihin ko sa iyo, sa, mar- sa ano talaga, sa walang, the, in, in, in this industry, there's not a lot of people that will Uh, advice against buying new products, new phones, no? Um, <clears throat> mapa Vivo yan, mapa Oppo, mapa Xiaomi, mapa whatever. Ba- ka- mapapansin mo, halos every month may bago silang phone. Why why do they release so many phones every month and the, the specs are not even that important, no? Kasi, they want And hindi nila sasabihin sa'yo na, ah, huwag ka muna mag-upgrade kung naka Oppo F9 ka, hindi mo kailangan mag-upgrade to Oppo F11, kung naka Oppo F7 ka, hindi mo kailangan mag- Oppo F... Tingnan nyo naman, Oppo F5, Oppo F7, Oppo F9, pare-pare yung phones lang yan, halos. <coughs> Pero gusto nila mag-upgrade ka, kahit ilang buwan pa lang, mag-upgrade ka na. Um, there's not a lot of... Uh, <laughs> kahit yung mga vlogs dyan, Maraming mga, oh my god, I want to buy this now. I can't wait. No, parang, can't wait for the new Samsung Galaxy uh, uh, Note 9, Note 10. Even though naka Note 9 sila or Note 8. Um, in this industry, <coughs> being a frugal consumer is not being promoted as much. No? Um, ako, ako, I admit, medyo, I try to be a good example to a lot of people because hindi ako madalas bumili ng phone. Uh, I'm still using my HTC 10. Uh, even though every single freaking time natatempt ako mag-upgrade, <laughs> hanggang ngayon natatempt ako mag-upgrade because mura na lang yung what, A, uh, Galaxy A, S8 ngayon. <coughs> But, tinitiis ko. Um, why? Why? I know, ang kakaiba sa akin is marami akong access sa mga telepono. But still, um, I, I try to stick to a long-term use of a phone para masulit ko siya. Um, I'm trying to promote that lifestyle, no? Uh, because hindi tayo mayaman, eh. Hindi tayo pwedeng kaya bilhin ng bilhin ng bilhin. Um, and I try to review phones uh, to give you the hindi yung sobrang but gotta buy this now, gotta buy this now. Ang review ko ng phone is Should you buy to upgrade your old one? Should you should you buy it now if you still have an uh, a, a 2018 phone, for example? 
Kuya, mataas din interest nung iyong credit card pag bumili ka sa DWH. <laughs> Yun lang. Actually, mata- uh, may, ako marami, may, may credit card ako and then medyo may utang din ako sa credit card ko. Admit ko yun. Um, sadly, yun, hopefully mabayaran ko na this year para medyo makawala na ako, makapag-ipon na ako ng konti. Um, like, I don't know if you're... Nanonood, nanonood, nanonood kayo mga previous BTS ko. I'm planning on buying a car uh, maybe uh, this year or maybe 2020. Basta I need, I need some... Uh, Parang hindi ko dadalhin sa Maynila kasi napaka-traffic sa Maynila. Baliwala. Hindi, hindi magagamit doon. Um, gusto ko lang ng weekend car for... Yun nga, kasi kailangan ko umuwi sa Pampanga this year. Anyway. Um, so, yun. One of the reasons why I'm not buying new phones, no? Because I'm trying to save for other things. Um, White Blue says, Oppo F9 equals Oppo F7S. Yeah, yeah. The notch has changed. <laughs> Ganun talaga eh. Ah, and, speaking of Oppo, yan, meron na tayo na naman tayo. Oppo F11. Yan, bago na naman, no? <coughs> MPC Mon, what's up? So, Oppo F11 Pro, the company also unveiled its sibling, the F11. Apparently, may F11 Pro. Hindi ko man naman natandaan. F11 Pro has a water drop notch, 16 megapixel front camera. Ba, bumaba yung megapixel ah. Hindi ba 20 megapixel si Oppo F9? <coughs> Double gradient color, it comes with Helio P70, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. May P70 na si, ano, si Oppo. 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. 48 plus 5 megapixel, yan yung 48 megapixel na, na mahiwaga, no? 16 front camera and a slightly increased 4,000 milliamp hour battery. This this is basically on Oppo F9, hindi ba? <laughs> hindi ba Oppo F9 lang ito? Na in-upgrade? So, uh, MediaTek P70. Hindi siya Snapdragon. 6.53. So, I guess lumaki yung display. Full HD plus water drop notch display. 4 gigs of RAM. Face unlock, fingerprint scanner na read mounted so hindi siya hindi siya screen mounted fingerprint no? <coughs> Mark Arasa says kaya the best on review ni Sir Alec Nako, thank you Kaya lang hindi pa ako nagre-review recently uh, Practical lang at talagang nakatulong sa consumers Hopefully nga um, uh, I'm hoping na magkaroon tayo ng well, yeah <laughs> Pag nagka-oras ako this year more reviews hopefully Ay nako Napaka hirap ng aking uh, ano ngayon uh, family ano ba uh, unless unless magse-set up talaga ako sa pampanga ng, ng reviews talaga I could do that maybe but uh, hey kuya Jaman Cheta what's up Balita ko TNT ka na sasabog ka na hindi nasa, nasa Pilipinas na po si kuya Jam if I'm not mistaken All right so yan Oppo F11 may bago na naman according to this it's going to be priced at Around 15,000, hindi pa announce yung local availability and whatnot. Uh, interestingly, uh, Oppo uh, has not had any events recently. I know nagpalit sila ng uh, public relations uh, group, but uh, hindi naman mahirap because kilala naman ako ng PR. Sabi nila, they, you know, launch whatever kung meron man. Um, I don't know. Um, honestly, it's a little stale, Oppo F11. I know the 48 megapixel camera is the new thing now. So, mm. <coughs> I didn't know how to speak in Tagalog. Na. Wow! Hindi na daw mag-Tagalog si Kuya Jam. Um, Thunder Black, Aurora Green. Damn it. Um, mm, Android 9.5, Color OS. Eh. Nothing's. Tingnan nga natin, may website ba to? Oppo F11. I guess most interesting new F11 Pro. F11. Wala pang website. <coughs> wala. Oppo F11 Pro lang yung importante so. For most people. So, I guess that's it. Wala na tayo masyadong topics for this week. Um, so, <coughs> Sorry. As I mentioned before, let's go full screen. 
Shwee! <laughs> Did you like my sound effect? Did you like, did you like my sound effects? Um, so like I said earlier, uh, this coming week, there's some interesting launches like the Philippine launch ng Redmi Note 7. Redmi, tama ba? Redmi Note 7. Yes, Redmi Note 7. Uh, Nandito na ako. Um, the local launch of, I believe, Realme 3. Um, from Kuya Ison, kung nandiyan ka pa. Local launch of Realme 3. Um, I want, I don't, and daming, and da, Vivo is also launching yung Vivo V15 Pro. Wala tayong invite doon because uh, inaway ko si Vivo. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe inaway ko, I don't know. <clears throat> Think, thankfully, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, let's see, ano mga invites natin? Uh, we have one for Xiaomi, Realme... I think, wait, ano ba ba? Realme. Ah, that might be it. Baka maluwag yung screen. NVIDIA, may NVIDIA pa ako, pero hindi, hindi, hindi related yun. I, I, I don't know, kung, hindi ko pa alam kung ano meron sa NVIDIA. It could just be the 1660 Ti for NVIDIA. <coughs> alam ko po, ang M20 is naka One UI. According to binasa ko, hindi siya One UI. Kuya. So, ano ba to? Bakit? Na, bakit? Uh, nas, anong, anong part ng pinapanood mo, Kuya, ano, Kuya D-Max? Shwish, wish, 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 wish. Sabi sa Samsung India, <clears throat> Sabi si Samsung India. Anong sabi si Samsung India? <coughs> Processor, camera, and there's it. it, it, it. What? Um, so, natin nabasa yung specs? <laughs> ano talazado ba to? Charcoal black. Oh, it's a Abenson. Okay. Nasaan yung ano? UI. Uh, oh, it's Android ang po siya. <coughs> Alam namin yan, Kuya D-Max. Alam namin na nag-post ka ng 100 megapixel. Offer, display, battery, processor, camera, entertainment. Kuya, Redmi S2 32-bit lang po pala ang Android OS. Redmi S2? Hindi ba yun yung ano? Yung selfie? Paano mo alam na 32-bit? 32 Pero kung 4 gigs of RAM, hindi ba may 4 gig RAM ito? Hindi ko alam. Ewan ko, medyo... May, may ano ba ba? May saisay pa ba yung 32-bit? <coughs> Mark Davis Baltasar, di kasali pro version ng Redmi Note 7 sa launch on March 20. Tingnan natin. Magbaba. Hindi ko alam kung pwede kong sabihin din. Eh. Let me see. Uh, Forty-eight megapixel. Alam ba yung anong difference? Ano yung difference? Let's see. Mm, 6.3 inch, 1080p plus. 660, 675. Okay. And then, parang 48. <coughs> so, yung processor lang yung difference? Patapik po ng Smart and Nokia partner siya. Ani? <laughs> Ay, nako. Okay, uh, et, apparently ito, kay Kuya D-Max. Pa, topic ni Kuya D-Max. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, smart Nokia Silent Memorandum for understanding to pilot the deployment of fifth generation wireless broadband technologies to services in schools. In schools? In schools? Wala tayong kinalaman dito. Eh? Whatever. This is, I uh, know, this is just, this is a fluff article. Um, uh, okay, so, yung mga ganitong article, okay, ganito na lang. This is pampabangon ng brand. Uh, pampabangon ng smart because the, you will associate them with 5G. Pampabangon din ng Nokia because, okay, admittedly, si Nokia may, may, may saysayan sa 5G. No? Um, but, the thing is, kahit walang Nokia, kahit walang smart, they would both, they smart and Nokia would both be at the forefront of 5G. Or at least trying to be at the forefront of 5G. This is just blowing smoke, no? Um, but, admit, the, 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 the main news that you need to take away from this is, okay, smart and Nokia are working together and doing some projects that may turn into something in the future may turn into something in the future. You gotta remember this. It's not a guaranteed thing to happen for this to turn into something in the future. Bukod dun, this is more of just nagaganito-ganito lang si Smart. Ah, may 5G kami. Ah! That's what Smart is doing, right? This with this, no? Because, you know, mag, sino ang report about this? It, <laughs> this is not technically newsworthy for a lot of reasons because we know that they're trying to experiment with 5G, no? Um the minor the num the napakaliit lang ng reason why this is no newsworthy because at least you would put it into your mental in, into your association, ma associate mo si Nokia in smart as doing something in 5G, no? Um but does that mean Nokia is at the forefront of 5G? Everybody is at the forefront of 5G. Is Smart better than Globe at 5G? No. That does not imply here. But that's what Nokia and Smart are implying. Ah, yes! Number one kami. This is what this press release is for. Um, a lot of this is like high floating numbers and stuff. And then, pag tinanong mo ibang brand, yeah, lahat naman kami ganyan. Lahat naman kami merong... Uh, uh, this development latest in 5G armed with both fixed wireless. Lahat kami may fixed wired and wireless. Diba? So, yeah, this is this is chest beating, no? Um, but okay. Uh, does it, is it going to make, is it going to turn into real Nokia products in the future? Probably not a phone. Probably not. Wala pa naman. May 5G phone na ba si Nokia? Wala. May 5G networks na ba tayo? Wala. This is gonna take at least five years before we see any any reasonable 5G uh, penetration in the Philippines and 5G phones in the Philippines. No? <coughs> so, what's... Ah, malalaman mo yan kasi mag Oh my god, gagawin ni Smart yan. Smart 5G Burakay. Uunahin nila yung Burakay niyan. Smart 5G Burakay. Who the fuck uses internet in Burakay? It's just posting fucking Instagram. They don't use the internet for internet sake. They use their publicity on the internet for for marketing sake <laughs> like gets you they're marketing their 5G to to influencers only that don't actually understand what internet is to, kung, how to use this 5G technology okay mabilis mag Instagram sa Boracay who the heck cares who the hell cares kung mabilis mag Instagram sa Boracay right so, 
that's what's gonna happen with this, no? And then we're gonna uh, eventually gonna fi- eventually get 5G in Metro Manila or other parts of the Philippines. And then, uh, okay lang. And then, uh, uh, we are the fi- smart 5G nationwide coverage. <coughs> 5 million billion bit rates. And then, um, we rarely see any actual results from any of these. No? But there you go. Smart and Nokia. Now, the, the one key takeaway about this news, though, is that it's not Huawei related. The one key takeaway with this, it's not Huawei related, no? So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, because for the longest time, Huawei has been basically the only source for signal tower technologies, especially in the Philippines, because they're affordable, they have the infrastructure, they're the lowest bidder when it comes to producing 5G infrastructure. The problem is now Huawei is in hot water because of their um, <coughs> spying allegations, no? So there's a lot of uh, places in the world now that are trying to avoid or ban Huawei in creating their 5G te- in, in antennas and for technology. In fact, Huawei has even countersued the United States. I don't know how na balita niyo to. Um. Huawei has sued the United States government. The actual, the whole government. Huawei sued the freaking U.S. government. The U.S. has restricted the use of Huawei products over national security concern. Um... Ito yung sabi ni Huawei. The U.S. Congress has repeatedly failed to produce any evidence to support its restrictions on Huawei products. We are on compelled to take this legal action as a proper and last result, resort. Sorry, resort. They're suing the actual government of the United States. They're, this is not just, you know, appeal. This is not a... The literal, din, kinasuhan nila ng... Uh, uh, kinasuhan nila ng kaso. Okay, kinasuhan ng kaso. Yung gobyerno ng US for banning the Huawei 5G and whatnot. This is a huge deal. Okay, so technically this is not related to 5G. But because of the 5G things that were happening back in Mobile World Congress a couple weeks ago, <coughs> this was their action because maraming countries that have been saying not to use the 5G Where's Meron nga ba? Uh, yan. Okay. So, yan. Marami nagbablock ng Huawei 5G technology in the world, no? Um, <coughs> ayan, no? <coughs> so, mabagal yung website. Kuklose ko na lang. Anyway, the point is, yun lang ang key takeaway dito. That Nokia is working on 5G with smart instead of Huawei. Which is the normal choice. Because lahat tayo, we're using Huawei. The entire Philippines is covered. <laughs> Excuse me. The entire Philippines is covered by Huawei signal towers from 3G and 4G. Lahat yan Huawei. The entire globe network is all Huawei. Smart is pretty much 90%. I don't. I, I think may ZTE jet, Which is also a Chinese brand. We're all covered. Everything is not... Lahat ng mga, mga sex, sexy text mo, alam na ng somebody in China because all of our signal towers are either ZTE or Huawei. Think about that. We are all spied upon, uh, allegedly, by all these signal towers. And we can't escape. Because saan, ano, saan, 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 saan cellphone ka gag... Yung, yung router ko... Ay, wait. Hindi, tip. Ano ba yung router ko dito? I have a... <laughs> I have uh, several routers that are Huawei. Na LTE, for example. Yung, ito. Yan. Ah, yung portable LTE router ko. This is also a Huawei. <coughs> Wala tayo takas. Everything is Huawei here. Huawei. 
Huawei. Baliktad, pero Huawei yan. So, if we were to be spied upon, we're gonna be uh, sitting ducks here in the Philippines. We're gonna get spied upon. Because, ganun talaga. We're all using Huawei. If your phone is Samsung, yung pinakamitan mong signal tower, Huawei pa rin. So, hmm, wala tayong choice. No? <coughs> China number one, sabi ni Christian Montes. <laughs> Uh, okay. Sony IMX 586 na si Pro. Okay, I see. Thank you, White Blue. Uh, Patrick Ibora, nako 5G, baka sa mga atin lang meron converge nga. Wala pa rin sa area namin, sa Santa Cruz. Manila District, 5G pa kaya. Danilo Maniaga, Galaxy M30, sir, what do you think to upgrade from M20? Ano yung M30? Meron? <coughs> Hindi nila ba sa Pilipinas ito, no? What's the processor? 7904? Ano difference from the M20? <clears throat> Super AMOLED na? Hindi. Let's see. Ah, it is Super AMOLED. <coughs> 7904 display, eh, processor, 13 plus 5, plus 5, num, ah, okay, so may ultra-wide camera yung M30. Ang problema, hindi siya nilabas sa Pilipinas, so how can you buy this? Kailangan i-import mo, no? I don't, I don't think that might be a good idea. <clears throat> Patrick Ibora says, suntok sa buwan yung lugar namin, ang hala nila wala pera, yung lugar namin, pero pang buy it, so fiber nila. Yun nga eh, I, I think, these days, kailangan, ano talaga, we're, we're getting into the era of everybody has the money to and, and, and willing to pay for fiber. 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 <laughs> um, ano na lang talaga, I think it's just expansion is uh, kind of an annoyance. Uh, expansion is annoying. No? Uh, I've been there. Uh, ang theory ko talaga, no? um, there was a time when uh, na, 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 naranasan yun na rin to, no? nagsistream ako eh. There was a time when uh, gustong-gusto ko mag-stream. Gustong-gustong ko araw-araw mag-stream. Gustong-gusto ko araw-araw mag-create ng content. Unfortunately, wala pa ako fiber at the time. Nung nawala na ako ng gana mag-stream, nawala na ako ng panahon para gumawa ng content, nawala na ako ng panahon para maglaro ng games, saka dumating yung fiber ko. <coughs> it is ano, it is a sad story, no? But, in my theory, a lot of people here in the Philippines will uh, will um, tag dito will experience the same thing no by the time na <laughs> baka may anak ka na <laughs> baka may trabaho ka na baka nag graduate ka na saka ka pa magkakaroon ng fiber so it's sad it's gonna happen eventually you're gonna get fiber eventually but ang problema is it you might not be the same person you it might not you might not have the same circumstances as before na gustong gusto mo magka fiber pagdating ng panahon nagkaka fiber ka but you might not <coughs> baka wala na yung panahon para ma take advantage mo yung yung streaming or or other in, advantages no mobile sa internet <coughs> Cherry pa din sabi ni Kuya Jam Mark Arasa says Idol Jam, you you want my Flirex too? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ch cherry pa din ang sabi mo, Jam. Ay, ayan, may Flirex to ka na. Galing kay Mark Arasa. Palitan mo ng ano mo, ng iPhone mo. Ano, ba, ano mo meron ka, Jam? Higyan mo ng S10 yan. Pamalit ng Flirex to. <clears throat> Wala masyadong hands-on sa M30 eh. But I think India pa lang yata yan, M30. Uh, Farmer Sanchez, what I've read about 5G is that it solves the alleged problem of too many users connecting, which means, in my opinion, they can no longer use the fair usage policy. <laughs> hindi, hindi totoo yan. Gagamitin at gagamitin pa rin nila yung fair usage policy na yan. <coughs> Kasi, okay, the thing is, it's not about the amount of people connecting. Yung bandwidth nila, yung internet speed nila, ultimately yung problem, imbis na yung amount of people connecting sa signal tower. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Huwag nyo na lang asahan. Ako, hindi na ako maasa sa data ng phone ngayon. Ngayon sa superior, 
Dahil sa sobrang fair use policy. Okay, unless you use my old school technique na gumagana pa rin, um, is using uh, what I call the uh, ano to? the per per use, uh, time-based. No? So, it's ang time-based is, as I've said before, uh, 5 pesos per 15 minutes of use. Hindi yung huwag kang mag-bucket. Huwag kang gumamit ng, ng, ng unlimited, quote-unquote unlimited. Huwag kang gumamit ng plan, huwag kang gumamit ng bucket. Gumamit ka ng prepaid SIM and then huwag mo siyang bilan ng uh, go surf. No, huwag mo siyang bilan ng sa smart giga surf yan. Eh. <laughs> Pero wala na kasi per wala nang uh, time-based charging ang internet is smart no? uh, on the prepaid side. There are some old SIMs. Uh, for example, my old SIM, this is the smart freedom SIM. No? This still has uh, time-based usage. So I can still use the internet here. And kung wala akong bucket plan, uh, I would still get charged 5 pesos for 15 minutes of unlimited, literally unlimited speed ng, ng internet. Kasi binabayaran ko per 5 minutes, eh, per 15 minutes. Sa Globe, pwede yan. You can use time-based charging even on prepaid SIM. Yun yung ginagawa ko uh, dito dati sa Pampanga, kung wala pa akong converge dito. Yes, may converge kami dito. <laughs> Malapit kami sa kwarto. Um, <clears throat> so that that's what I used to do. I used to have NTE. Ito, I sometimes I use it here. No, uh, pockets, pocket Wi-Fi. Yes, this is a Globe Pocket Wi-Fi, not sponsored. <clears throat> um, and then I use uh, time-based. No, five pesos for fifteen minutes. Uh, if you think about it, that's twenty pesos per hour of extremely fast, unlimited internet, uh, or about 100 pesos for 5 hours of extremely fast unlimited internet i know that's a lot of money technically no pero if you really needed unlimited fast internet with no fair use policy no fair use policy no that's what you have to do you have to pay no um it's it's the sad reality of what we what where we are right now in the philippines so hopefully it's, we're we're hopefully improving but if you think about it Dati, si Globe lang may fair use policy. Si Smart, wala. Dat, dati, as much as you want, you can use the internet ng Smart. No? But now, may fair use na rin si Smart. So, mag naghigpit sila. Um, so, either we we live, uh, ano ba to? We, uh, we ride it out, no? We ride out the part na sa, ad admittedly, gumaganda ang internet sa Pilipinas. Quote-unquote, gumaganda. Because our fiber services are spreading, no? So, all we have to do is wait a little bit longer for internet to become more widespread. Easier to access, easier to get, fiber to get, easier to get. And then, hindi na tayo masyadong stingy sa data, no? And then, hopefully, eventually, medyo maging... Magbukas yung minimums, yung fair use minimums ni Globe and Smart. Because, uh, hindi na competitive when it comes to, you know, later on. But right now, andyan pa rin yung fair use because medyo ano pa rin, hirap pa rin tayo sa internet. And there's still a lot of people that abuse the system, no? Um, actually, they, I don't call it abuse because if you tell me I have unlimited data, I should have unlimited data. But, eh, ma mahirap lang talaga, masobrang konti lang talaga ng data sa Pilipinas, especially on phones. Pero fiber, just get fiber. Unfortunately, yun na nga. Kung <coughs> nalas sa labas ako ng bahay, Napakabagal ng internet ko. Hindi ako pwede mag-stream, hindi ako pwede mag -ano. Yung manonood ka lang ng YouTube, nagbabuffer pa eh. <coughs> Pero nasa, that's why, sadly, the side effect of having fast internet at home is that sobrang bahay, taong bahay lang ako because I have to upload my YouTube, I have to download, you know, I watch, watch a lot of YouTube videos, I have to edit videos, and then what, you know, research, research, research. So medyo taong bahay ako. Because I prefer to be at home because the, the internet is fast at home. I, I can't do it on mobile data. I can't do work at mobile data. So I'm wrong here. Anyway. <coughs> Sorry. Medyo ano pa rin yung uh, phlegm ko. Uh, dapat may improve mo na yung 4G so smart. Mabagal talaga lalo na pag nasa loob ka ng building. Wala tayong magagawa dyan. Pag nasa loob ka ng building, there's no... There's not a lot of things you can do, no? Um... Uh, naka 
Wild Globe, pag naka 4G ka na nasa loob ng building, mabilis siya. Depende yan sa location. Baka nasa Ayala Mall ka. Pag nasa Ayala Mall ka, huwag ka umasa na yung smart uh, phone, yung smart SIM mo, makakasaga. Ayala yan eh. Kung nasa Trinoma ka, kung nasa, uh, uh, ano ba tawag? Glorieta ka, Ayala yan. They literally have, they, they prevent, they, they do stuff to the smart signal para hindi masyado makapasok yung smart signal sa loob ng Ayala Malls. So, pag nasa, ay- nasa Ayala Mall ka, don't expect smart SIM, don't expect smart data to work inside. Pero yung Globe SIM, malakas sa Ayala Mall. Even nasa loob ka. Because dinatagdagan nila ng signal booster yan sa loob ng mall. So, you have to use your brain. You have to figure out where you live. You have to figure out where you are para malaman mo. Kung pumunta ka sa gateway, Ayala yan. Uh, tama ba? Yeah, pretty sure. <coughs> Christian says China number one Patrick Ibarra says Ang lalakas mag-block ng ilang website Yung internet dati ng bagal I know right? <laughs> Mag- Pero mag- maganda ang uh, Admittedly at maganda yung Converge Sa Manila naka-PLDT Fiber ako at, Ano rin ako Impressed din ako sa PLDT Fiber But I think for uh, In terms of spreading The amount of Into amount of people Kung gano'ng kalakas I think Converge is in the right path now PLDT Fiber, I think, is a much harder to get pa rin, uh, these days. So, mm. alright. <clears throat> According to Mark, aras sa buong Laguna, Fiber ready na. There you go. Congrats sa mga taga-Laguna. Alright, guys. Uh, that should do it for our show today. Almost two hours. <coughs> That's it for our show. Um... Uh, Alam ko ma, pang ito ko nating bosses today, but uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. That's it for me, Alex from Jago Class. Come, thanks for watching. That's been a big time show for March 16th, 2019. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed our show from Angeles, Pampanga. Uh, next time I will hopefully have a webcam pointing this way, na hindi na hindi na pagganito. But uh, I, sometimes you know these kinds of. Uh, Low production quality shows are also enjoyable. So there you go. <clears throat> uh, Adrian, eh, D-Max says, Samsung Xperia 9.5 pala si M20. Yeah, eh, tama sabi si Rick. Farmer Sanchez, huwag lang sana bilhin na PLDT si Converge. I think baka hindi, kaya ba yun? Baka mag non-compete yan. Baka may, may, there are certain clauses there na bawal, bawal mag ano. Also, hindi na nag-update yung comments ng ating ano. Hindi nasa ka ba? Uh, hindi nag-update yung comments na both. Tingnan natin. Wow, hindi na siya nag-update, man. Tingnan <coughs> natin. Refresh. Wow. It's broken again. Look at that. And then yung Facebook, hindi na rin nag-update. Oh well. <laughs> I uh, I ano talaga mag-update nung ano nung nung comment boxes so. Oh. I don't know. Here yeah, then. Let's try this. Kill. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's try to see kung pwede natin siyang i-restart somehow. Naku curious lang ako. Oh no, next. Wow. I think nag crash yung mahiwagang. <coughs> oh, de, okay. Mandal pa. Explit? Are you working? Explit is working, but I can't hit any uh, buttons. Oh boy. What the hell? Okay, anyway. <laughs> I-end ko na yung stream sa Facebook and then I will try to... Ki- Papatayin ko na lang to. Nag-hang yung... Nag-crash yung exploit sa ano. I can't click on anything. It still works, but I can't click on anything. Wow. Legit, bro. Legit, bro. 
<laughs> ah, explain why you do this to me. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Uh, what is the comments going on here? Kaya bilin na smart yung converge parang ginawa nila sa sun. Hindi, I don't know. Baka na kami non-compete yun. I don't know. Alam ko, dati binili ng PLDT si Meridian Telecoms pa yun na ginawa nila ng smart Wi-Fi. I, and there, there are some some policies in place to prevent uh, monopolies, no? So, uh, for example, si Sun, hindi, they, they prevented the monopoly for a little while and they're still technically not a monopoly smart than Sun. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, we don't know. Pilipinas ito eh. So, many things could happen, no? Anyway, <laughs> Since na malapit na sumabog yung exploit ko, I think. I'm gonna end the stream there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. <clears throat>